All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How is it going? I am Is There No One Else? And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the live stream reveal that is happening later today for Ashes of Creation. Now, we have gotten a lot, a lot of very good live streams this year. And this is going to be another good one, in my opinion. I I know, I know this this muddies the water, like they can't all be good. I, th I just think this year's live streams are much better than last year's live streams. We're just getting more fleshed out content. This is the development of a game. The game is getting more and more complete. We are getting more and more of a finished product. And that is also part of what they're announcing later today as well. And so I wanted to talk to you guys. I wanted to have a heart to heart with you and talk to you guys about things that I am excited about for today's live stream. I also wanted to talk to you about potentially things that I want to see, things that I'm hoping that we'll, we'll see happen. And so uh, obviously we'll do a recap. Uh, nice Gaming and I, we do have our Voices of Vera podcast. We'll give our, our reactions as well. So I'm very excited to do that, to do that also. But yeah, that's not what this video is about. Let's, let's dive into what the live stream is going to be. First things first, we are getting a Ranger archetype preview. Now there are eight different archetypes in the game but that doesn't exist yet. And we have gotten three so far to this level. We have gotten the cleric, we've gotten the mage and we've gotten the tank. Now they have done a, a range showcase and they have done a melee combat showcase, but they haven't done a fighter or a ranger showcase to this level, which is level 25 yet. Today we get the ranger. Now the ranger, as you guys expect, it, it is a bow boy. We, we are fast, we are mobile, we shoot fucking arrows, we are badass. And so I, I'm very excited to see how this plays out. Just like every other combat preview, I'm excited to see these for, for a multitude of reasons. Number one, I'm a PvP main at heart, guys. Like I, I started my channel covering the Elder Scrolls Online, covering ESO PvP combat, discussing combat changes for ESO, discussing class changes to make things more balanced, to make things more competitive, to make that game's PvP more fun. I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing in New World. I, I go to New World, I play PvP in New World. I, I play other games, but PvP is the thing that I have the most fun doing. And every time I see an archetype preview, it's just, it's like a patchwork quilt, right? You just get another piece of the blanket. And the overall blanket is what combat is going to look like. So when we see the cleric, we're like, okay, this is what the healer class is going to be. This is cool. When we see the mage, okay, this is going to be the ranged ranged caster build. This is going to be really cool. And now we get to see the ranged, more stamina, bow boy archetype. And so it's exciting. It's not my first choice. I'll be honest. I know some of you ranger mains out there are gonna get a little bit mad about at me for this, but yeah, I am. I'm more of a rogue fighter, fighter rogue type of guy. That, that's just who I am. I like high damage. I like mobility. That's that's what I enjoy. And so that's my gonna be my first go to. Just like in New World, just like in in uh, ESO, I will be playing everything. I, I love on this channel. What I love to do is I love to play every single class, different archetype all these different things and discuss pros and cons and talk about how you guys can play them and, and be more successful doing it. And so I'm looking forward to doing that for Ashes of Creation. And so we get to see more and more of this as well. And so although it's not my first choice, it's not. It, it would, I think Ranger is like my third choice, if we're being honest. So it's up there. It's up there. It's just not, you know, it's not, it's not my favorite son. It's, it's like my second or third favorite son, and I have eight of them. So, uh, yeah, that, that's just <laughs> that, that's where I stand right now. But I'm very excited to see how it plays. I'm excited to see uh, the different skills and abilities, how it's going to be mobile, how it's going to, you know, look when it is engaging in combat and how it's going to play. Obviously, I cannot play it. I have to live vicariously through the developers. I have to live vicariously through Steven Sharif. And Steven, you got to play it well, man. That's all I'm trying to say. Like you got to play it well, or else we're all gonna get mad at you again. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I, I don't do that. <laughs> Some people do, but I do not. Um, this is just another piece of the puzzle, and that's an exciting aspect of this live stream is we get to see that. And so, we'll, nice gaming and I will we, we will be talking about it on our Voices of Era podcast. But they're also announcing something else. We get the Alpha Two quarter announcement today, also, and so. Some of you guys are listening to that and you're like, okay, well, what the hell does that mean? 
Well, for what that means is they announced earlier this year that Alpha 2 for Ashes of Creation will exist in 2024. It, it will come live. Uh, and that's exciting for a multitude of reasons. Number one, it is a persistent alpha. What that means is alpha two will exist until the game goes live. The servers will not go down. So people that have the ashes of creation alpha two key will get to play alpha two until the game goes live. And so for those of us nerds that love to engage in combat and like to look at formulas and like to test things and like to figure out how the game functions, we get to do that. I, I get to test all the systems, I get to figure stuff out, I get a duel, I get to play different classes, I get to play different archetypes if they eventually come out, I get to go engage in whatever they, they put on the Alpha 2 server. And so I am very excited for Alpha 2 to go live for that reason, because in it is game I get to test fully before it goes live. And then once it goes live, then obviously we all have the live game and we get to enjoy it and play it and, and do it. But we don't know when. We don't know when it's going to happen. We don't know if it's going to be early next year. We don't know if it's going to be mid next year or if it's going to be late. And that's what today's live stream is going to cover. And so for that reason, I'm excited to see when the Alpha 2 reveal is going to be. Uh, let's move on to the next thing that I'm excited about. Um, action combat. Obviously, Ash of Creation is not an action combat MMO. It is going to have, it is going to be a form of hybrid combat. Uh, action combat on its truest sense is more like new world where you aim if you're if your reticles aren't perfectly aimed on somebody you miss that that is action combat new world is, new world is the perfect example of action combat uh, tab target world of warcraft you tab on different people uh, whoever you're tabbed onto you activate abilities and they fire in that general direction and so a hybrid combat or hybrid camera it's some combination of the two. I would I would say ESO has a form of hybrid combat. I've heard that Guild Wars 2 is going to be very similar to what uh, the hybrid combat for Ash of Creation is going to have, where you will have an ability to have tab target, but you can also switch to a more action camera to where you can kind of move around, but it will be more tab in nature. And so um, I'm excited to see how it plays out. I We've... Nice Gaming and I have talked about this on our on our podcast. We've talked about it on the Voice of Vera podcast about how we haven't seen much of the action camera. Uh, we've talked about it for the last few months, actually, where people have brought it up and they're they're excited to see it. Uh, nice Gaming actually did a post on the forums talking about it. Uh, it's like a week or so ago now. It, we've been talking about it for so long, I can't remember exactly when it started. But I, I wanted to pull up a couple snippets for you guys, kind of show you guys that that this is a big deal for the community. Um, Fox said something that I, I'm trying to avoid doing a video on since we're so close to another showcase, but he is so right. It's actually, I think I brought this up on an episode, but he said they haven't shown action combat in a while. So I've been doing this behind the scenes, uh, when I've had free time at work. Um, the last time I maniacally watched ashes of creation was when I went through every stream looking for instances of dodge roll. <laughs> So I could put it in my video. So I went back here. Let me actually bring up Ashes of Creation's YouTube. I'm so sure. Let me see. When was it? When was it? We haven't seen the hybrid camera utilized or action combat utilized since there was, I think, a small instance in the mage showcase where technically like, I don't think he was tagged when he used it. He swung his greatsword. I could be wrong, but I'm not going to count that one. But I'm pretty sure the last instance was the tank stream. Yep, right here. Um, the tank archetype stream was the last time I think we saw them use act the action camera. And even that one, I got to double check. I got to finish going through that. But I think in that stream, there was a point where they used a hybrid uh, camera. But yeah, that's it's actually a concern. They showcased the hybrid targeting and camera so well during the Ranger showcase and the melee showcase uh, the Ranger showcase, the ranged weapon in the melee showcase that I'm surprised they got away from it. But Fox, something that gives me a little reassurance and why I'm like not too dramatic about it and something that's kept me from doing the video, because it may just be the simple explanation of it's Steven. He prefers, he's a tab target enjoyer. That's what he's more comfortable with. And if we saw him 
utilizing hybrid combat, maybe the gameplay will look bad. And uh, some people like to get on yeah. him about the gameplay, which I never found so horrible that it's worth talking about. I think it is yeah. that simple. I, I I really do. I think he's used to doing tab target, and so that's what we see as tab target. Yeah, and that, that's one of the options. And um, I think I think that's all there is to it. It's it's something I want to bring up in a video, but I don't think it's worth its own video. I don't think it's that dramatic. Um, but yeah, it, it would be interesting if you uh, if we pinged the Discord maybe, um, and just kind of brought it up like, hey, because this isn't the first time it's been brought up in our in our podcast mm -hmm. where people have been ask, asking about more action camera stuff. Just yeah, maybe we ping them over there and just be like, hey, people are asking a little bit about the action camera stuff. We know Steven likes to do tab like. Maybe yeah. for the next one, show some action just so you can appease it. Because I like a question that. I've seen a lot, and I don't care what you guys like or what you guys dislike or anything like that. If you like tab, you, tab is the option. But uh, it's been my belief that Stephen Sharif is doing more tab target combat because that is what he's used to playing, because that's the type of games he's used to having. But it would be nice to see what I'm looking forward to or what I'm hoping they show with the Ranger is it'd be good to show a little bit more of the action camera. It hasn't been shown in a while. It'd be nice to see the progress in that specific aspect so that players that aren't in love with tab target, they get to see what the camera looks like also. And so uh, some people really like tab. Some people really hate tab. Some people really like action. Some people really hate action. The amalgamation of the two, the, the hybrid combat, is where a lot of people kind of settle at. And so it'll be fun to see exactly where that's at. And so, uh, yeah. I, I hope they show it. It's not a deal breaker for me regardless. It's not a deal breaker if they show this or not. It's just something that I'm hoping to see because I, I think Ranger would it would be very suited to show an action combat camera. And so that's my specific perspective. Yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys have any questions or comments, please provide in the section below. As always guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.